Alright, we're done here. Let's head on out. Adventure forth. Yes. What should we do next? There's something that going on at Hawk Estate. And we have something else as well. Herbalist tasks. Hmm. So a nighttime and a daytime thing. Interesting. Is there nothing else? Huh. Curious, I thought could have sworn there was something else. Let's check the journal. Oh yes, the demands of the Kuhn. Let's go talk to them, shall we? Whereabouts it is. The Viscount hopes the matter will be settled, but there's still clear cause for concern. Hmm. Weird. Hmm. Seems it's determined to have me go to the uh, to the estate. So let's go there next. See what's going on. Oh, thank goodness you're here. I thought you went to the hanged man. And I always went there to look for you first, but then I thought you might have gone to see your uncle instead. And I'm rambling, aren't I? I don't mind. You're adorable when you're flustered. After you left, I... I couldn't stop thinking about Paul and the mirror and everything that's happened. I wonder if... I've made a mistake. Leaving the Dalish. Who could pass up life in Kirkwall? A city of sunshine and butterflies. <laughs> I suppose if I hadn't left my people, I never would have met you. I'm not like you. And I wish that I were. You're beautiful and clever and you never make any mistakes. And I... I don't deserve you. <laughs> hmm. Perhaps you don't. But I deserve you. Did you think of that? Did you call the Maker a dirty name then? It's foolish of me to even dream that you might. Oh no. See, this is the this this is one of the things about this game that uh, they could have done this so much better because <clears throat> with relationships they are so much more complicated than a yes or no answer. And this is what they're forcing you into a yes or no answer. Do you want this person? Yes or no. If you answer no, you will never get them again. That is complete bullshit, and I, mm, I am so uh, annoyed at this kind of forcing forced romance crap. Um, they really need to, have, I mean, just 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 add some options to delay it or whatever, or you can be like, no, nah, I'm keeping, my, you know, I'm I'm not getting tied down just yet, but I'm still interested, you know. No answer for that. They just can't do it for some reason, and it. It's lazy. It's it's so lazy. I'm bitching here, but this really, really pisses me off. It's nothing more that pisses me off. And when a game forces you to do something like this, and they really need to learn to stop doing this, because how many times have you had to reload because you've chosen the wrong answer and stuff like that? How many times have you missed an opportunity... And it, you know, you didn't even know that you missed it. You've got to choose someone you like, and you've got to go for them. And if you do anything else, chances are you're going to lose them, or you end up with the wrong person. And that kind of stuff, it's just so clumsy, lazy, and... Uh, but anyway, that aside, let's, uh, let's go for it, because Meryl is one of the better partners of the bunch, I think. And I don't want to ruin things between us, but the game's forced us to choose her, because I, I can't really say no uh, at this point. <clears throat> so, let's go ahead with Meryl, I guess. Meryl's going to be our partner now, the game has decided, so there we go. I thought I was pretty obvious already, but I could spell it out for you. Meryl? 
It's all right. happens now? Are we... What did this mean? <laughs> so again, you've got keep Meryl or lose Meryl forever. That's your options. That's no options at all, is it? So, uh... You know, we might have to try that a few more times to really get the meaning. I love you. I probably shouldn't have said that, did I? I always say the stupidest things. Uh -oh. And again, lose or keep forever, pretty much. So. I was thinking of scandalizing the neighbors by having my Dalish lover move in. What do you think? Yeah, in Hightown. The rich, fancy part of the city with no rats in it. And you. <laughs> with an elf. Marvenon. You really are crazy, aren't you? If you're not afraid, then... Neither am I. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Achievement unlocked. Flirtatious. <laughs> I don't know, maybe I'm not locked, but you know, it's it, it's like, I don't know, it's like, I, I, I remember this problem with Mass Effect as well, it's like, you know, that's why I kind of like The Witcher, you got to sleep around a bit first. No, Leandra, hmm. Leandra. Shouting won't make him understand you better, you know. There you are. Where's your mother? Is she feeling all right? I'm tempted to say she isn't. Just to see your reaction. Your mother didn't show up for our weekly visit. Is she hmm. ill? She is here, isn't she? No, Gamlin. We haven't seen her all day. Where could she be? With her suitor, perhaps? Suitor? Leandra never mentioned a suitor. Well, those lilies arrived for her this morning. White lilies? I know something about that. Don't just leave me waiting. What is it? There's a killer in Kirkwall who sends his victims white lilies before he takes them. He's murdered several women already. Mm. No. You're wrong. Leandra is fine. It doesn't hurt to be optimistic. Maybe... Maybe Leandra took another path to my house. I could have just missed her. I'm going back to Lowtown. You should help Gamlin look for your mother. You might be able to track her more easily once night falls and the streets empty out. All right. The boy and I will stay here in case she returns. Okay, yeah, looks like we're going to find Mother next. Um, I think we'll leave it off there, though, guys. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of, a lot of nit, well, a lot of critique about the romance and stuff. But it is nice it is in the game. You know, I know a lot of people say, well, RPGs never used to have romance in the game. It's not that important. Um, I think it's important for the story, and it's an important part of the game uh, for a lot of people. So I think it's significant, and um, yeah, the, the, you could argue that it, it it hasn't been in the games and stuff before, so you know, don't expect much. But you know, they got professional writers doing this, so you know, it's really no excuse for kind of you know all or nothing decisions. There should never be all or nothing decisions. Life isn't like that. RPGs aren't like that. There's always shades of grey. You should be able to, like, say to someone, you know, look, I'm not feeling very well, let's talk about it later. Or you should be able to say to someone, like, you know, I'm not wanting to get into commitment right yet, but soon, you know. 
Something like that would have been cool. And then you can explore your options with other people, you know, sleep around, whatever you want to do, you know, have fun. Um, but no, no, you can't do any of that. And, uh, yeah, I think it limits the options in the game. You should never limit the options in the game. Um, that's not good game design. Uh, good game design is giving people the freedom to, you know, do what they want with the character. And, um, yeah, I think they dropped the ball on that one. So, anyway, hope you enjoy the episode, guys, and see you next time.